the autumn equinox, also known as Mabin, carries a sacred significance. A time when we witness the perfect harmony of day and night, sun and moon, light and shadow. We come together to celebrate balance, the cycle of life, and above all, the embrace of change. Autumn gracefully unfolds before us, revealing the beauty of transformation. This transition reminds us that we're all constantly flowing through different seasons of life. At times, we find ourselves in a personal winter, resting and reflecting before the dawn. Or maybe we're starting over and stirring back to life like the spring. Perhaps it feels like we're growing and fruiting like fields in the summertime. Then of course, there's the autumnal sunset of a cycle. During a harvest season, intentions and efforts have borne fruit. Lessons are revealed and the nourishing integration begins. In the natural world, we find ourselves amid the harvest, a moment that invites us to pause and ponder. We contemplate what in our lives is flourishing, what yearns for cultivation, and what has been depleted and awaits the nourishing mulch of time. These reflections can lead us to intentional changes and balance in our lives. Now, as we step into fall and delve deeper into our personal journeys, may this 30-minute yoga practice infuse us with the joy, grace, and wisdom of the autumn season. Welcome back to Moon Medicine Yoga. I'm Allison, and I'm so excited to celebrate autumn with you today. Before we begin, subscribe to join us for more yoga with the moon and the seasons. And please, please hit the like button. These small things really help out the channel a lot. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin in a kneeling position today. And if kneeling isn't comfortable, then feel free to take an easy seated pose. As you arrive, inhale and exhale letting your eyes close or your gaze soften. Enjoy a few moments of stillness as you deepen the breath. Gently open the eyes and with a deep breath in, Slowly bring the fingertips to the tops of the shoulders for mushroom pose. You can do this in a cross-legged seat if that's where you are. Inhale, side bend to the right, pointing your left elbow to the sky. Exhaling, switch. Keep swaying like this with your breath. Toning the navel inward. Option to look side to side as you move. On your next inhale, come back to center, pausing in mushroom pose, and just breathing into stillness. Exhale, slowly release, hands to the thighs. And we'll come on to hands and knees or cat cow. On your inhale, arch the back and look forward. Exhale, round the spine, tailbone tucks, chin to chest. Again, find your rhythm, your pace here, moving with the breath. 
feeling the belly open with your inhales, the back expanding with your exhales. Inhale, tabletop. Walk the hands a palm print forward. Exhale, tuck the toes for downward facing dog. Soften the knees. Relaxing the neck, gaze back between the legs. Option here to engage ujjayi breath, if that's in your practice. Finding that gentle constriction in the back of the throat. This will create a sound as you inhale and exhale, much like the wind rustling leaves in the trees. On your exhale, drop the knees and sit on the heels, kneeling for a moment. Again, you can do this next part of class seated if you like. Let's pause for a moment with the hands on the thighs. Inhale, open the arms wide. Preparing for eagle arms, stack the right elbow on top of the left and then wind your forearms up. Bring in the fingertips into your palm. Feeling the stretch. As you inhale, send your fingertips overhead. Little lift to the heart. Exhale, round the spine, bringing the elbows down towards your legs. Keep moving with your breath. Little cat-cow action in the spine. looking a little like a squirrel on the forest floor in this Kriya. Inhale, pause, and then unwind the arms, sweeping them out and overhead. Exhale, hands to mat for tabletop, bringing your knees together. Continuing our little squirrel sequence here, we're gonna extend the right leg up and back and bend the knee, creating your squirrel tail. Keeping the elbows in, lower your chest and chin to the mat. Exhale, press up and let the knee tap the earth. Can inhale, create your squirrel tail, lowering your chest and chin. Exhale to tap the knee or option to draw that knee into the chest for a little extra core engagement. Inhale into your squirrel tail dive. Exhale to rise up. One or two more with your breath. Pause and tabletop. Inhale, sit on the heels. Pausing just to feel. Come back to the breath. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale for eagle arms, this time left elbow stacks on top of the right. Wind up the arms, bringing the fingertips into your palm. Breathe into the shoulders and the upper back for a moment. When you're ready, start your cat-cow movement in the spine. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale to gather inward. Again, feel free to do this in a seated position if kneeling doesn't feel good in your body.
inhale, pause and unwind, sweeping the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to mat for tabletop. Bring your knees together for our squirrel tail flow on the second side, bending the knee to create your little tail. As you inhale, hinge forward, bringing your chest and chin to the mat. Exhale, pressing up, tapping the knee or bringing the knee to your chest. On your exhale, tabletop, and slowly sit back on the heels, kneeling for a final time Come back to stillness, come back to your breath. On your exhale, bowing down for child's pose or acorn pose, wrapping the arms back by your sides, relaxing through the shoulders as your forehead rests on the mat. Inhale, rising to tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Once in down dog, step the feet as wide as the mat and walk your hands in about a palm print towards the toes. Breathe deep into the backs of the legs let your throat and your jaw relax. And coming back to down dog, feet about hip distance. Walk those hands forward, a palm print or two. And then bending the knees, look forward, walk or step up to the hands. Inhale, hands to shins for halfway lift. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, slowly rise, reaching your arms high. Exhale, hands to heart center, bowing to the fingertips. From here, bringing hands to the hips and stepping the right foot all the way back to open to the long edge of your mat. Preparing for a wide-legged fold, have the heels a little wider than your toes. And a great place to start with the stance is to open the arms wide Usually the wrists are right over the outer edges of the feet. If you want more, you can heel to the feet wider. For a little less, bring the feet closer. With hands on hips, inhale, lift your heart, elbows back. Exhale, fold down, bringing your hands to the mat about shoulder width. You can definitely make adjustments to the feet here. And keep the hands on the mat in your fold or reaching out, wrap the peace fingers around the big toes. If you're taking this variation as you exhale, bend the elbows out to the sides. Wherever you are feeling the sits bones turning up towards the sky, the crown of the head getting heavier towards the earth.
bringing the hands back under the shoulders. As you inhale, lift to your fingertips. Exhaling, hands to hips and slowly rise. Once here, turn the toes out for goddess squat. Bring the hands to the heart. As you exhale, drop the seat. Breathing deep, let sensation build in the legs. And if it's too much, feel free to kind of lift and lower out of it gently. Taking a few last deep breaths here. Inhale, slowly rise and turn the feet parallel, opening the arms wide into five-pointed star. Bend into your left knee and then press off the foot, balancing on your right leg. Keep everything nice and wide and open. This is falling leaf pose. Steady your eyes somewhere. Just have fun with this one. Your exhale, slowly release back to five-pointed star. Beautiful. When you're ready, bending the right knee and then pressing off that foot to balance on your left leg. I find that kind of the shaking and the swaying almost adds to this pose, looking more and more like a leaf about to fall. One more breath. Very gently release back to five-pointed star, opening the arms wider, looking up. Taking up as much space as you can. Exhale, hands to the hips and step forward to the top of the mat. Take a nice cleansing breath here in mountain pose, arms by the sides. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, maybe hands to the shins. Exhale, plank pose. From here, your choice, you can float through the vinyasa or just hinge back to down dog. We'll meet in down dog for a few moments of stillness to come back to that rustling leaf breath, constricting the back of the throat, breathing deeply. On your exhale, bend the knees, look forward, and let's come to a seat. Placing the hands behind you with the fingertips pointing out, bend the knees and bring the feet to the floor. On your inhale, lift your hips for upward table, or what we'll call the autumn altar today, or the Maven altar. If this is too much, you can keep your seat on the mat and simply scoot your seat forward towards your heels. You'll get a really nice stretch there too. Wherever you are, think about opening the heart. Last breath. Exhale, slowly lower or scoot your seat back. Turning the hands so now the fingertips are pointing forward. 
on your breath in, lift into your altar once again, or scooch your seat forward. Staying long through the arms. Last breath in. Exhale slowly lower or scoot your seat back. We're going to cross the legs now, coming into an easy seat. Hands on the knees. On your inhale, sweep the right arm to the sky. Exhale, bring the right elbow down to the earth and hold on to your left knee with the right hand. Inhale, reach the left arm to sky, pausing for a beat to enjoy the twist. And crossing that arm in front of the other, place the elbow down and grab for the opposite knee. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, bow your head for pumpkin pose. On your inhale, sweep the right arm to the sky. Again, pausing to feel the twist. And on the exhale, crossing that arm in front of the other. Place the elbow down and grab for the left knee. Take a breath in and as you exhale, bow the head, pumpkin pose. And this is the season when we start to turn inward. So maybe your eyes close. You dive into your inner world. Just breathe into stillness. On your inhale, slowly rise up and release. And keep the eyes closed if you like, moving gently. From here, we're gonna make our way onto our backs. As you land, bend the knees and bring the feet to the floor. Step the feet as wide as the mat and let your knees fall in towards one another in restorative rest. The hands can rest on your belly. Think about getting really soft through the soles of the feet, the length of the back body, even the back of the head gets a little bit heavier. option to engage that leaf rustling breath as we approach the end of our practice.
from here, releasing the arms to your sides with the palms up. Extend the legs one at a time for Shavasana. You can take any shape you like that's comfortable. And wherever you are, taking a deep and cleansing breath, settling throughout the body and enjoy your rest. Gently bringing the awareness back. Start to find movement in the fingers and the toes. Bring the feet to the floor and gently roll to your side, resting in the fetal position for a few moments. I thought to close class today would share this beautiful reading from John O'Donohue called Blessings for the Senses. May your body be blessed. May you realize that your body is a faithful and beautiful friend of your soul. May you be peaceful and joyful and recognize that your senses are sacred thresholds. May you realize that holiness is mindful gazing, feeling, hearing, and touching. May your senses gather you and bring you home. May your senses always enable you to celebrate the universe and the mystery and possibilities in your presence here. May the arrows of the earth bless you. And now very gently press yourself up to a seat with the hands at heart center. Thank you for celebrating autumn with me for this special fall equinox class. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. To seal our practice, let's bring the thumbs to the third eye and bow to honor each other. I wish you a season full of harvest and harmony. If you're interested in works by John O'Donohue, I'll link to some below. Also, if you're interested in donating or supporting the channel by becoming a member, all that information is also in the description. Before you leave, make sure you like and subscribe and say hello in the comments. I would love to hear how you're feeling after this practice how you're feeling about the transition to fall, or if you have any special rituals for this time. But that's all for today. Thank you again for being exactly as you are, and I will see you again soon, on the mat and under the moon.